Bro! 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 This is Kankakee River Days. So this is our pilot. This is the first year that we have done this here. We've been doing it for four years in Michigan City on Trail Creek, um, but we wanted to bring it to a different group of kids. We like to make everything what we call place-based so that they're learning about what's the natural resources in their own backyard. So we wanted to expose kids, you know, that Trail Creek is wonderful, but it's not necessarily where a lot of the kids in LaPorte County live. So we wanted to have another event that would give, you know, the, the rest of the kids something to do. So the Kankakee River Basin Commission said, you know what, open it up to all of the Kankakee River Basin kids, which is nine counties, and we'll pay for it. So um, that's what they did, and um, we've got just LaPorte and Porter County here this year, but I'm hoping to get some more Newton County and Jasper County and, you know, kind of expand it in the coming years. Um, so we're, the kids are paddling. Um, with Wilderness Inquiry. They're learning about water quality with Niches Land Trust today. So they're learning about how do we assess the quality of the water? What do we look for? What are the tools we use to do that? What does that information mean when we get it? They're learning um, about wetlands ecology with the National Park Service. So we've got the three rangers from the National Park Service here. We have the Northwest Indiana Paddling Association, which is a huge partner for us. They do a water safety course with the kids. So the kids learn about, you know, how to identify hypothermia, how to avoid getting up hypothermia, what do you do if you fall out of your kayak, how do you get back in, how do you hold the paddle properly, that kind of thing. Um, where do you go if you're really excited about kayaking and you want to do it again, um, that sort of thing. And then we also have uh, Mr. Coyote Larson who is like a real life fur trapper um, and he is also on the board of the Kinky River Basin Commission so he's doing some, you know, kind of talking about the, the natural history of the area, the Grand Kinky Marsh and kind of how that led the development of this area. And,